Hello. I wanted to talk about a pretty big issue that I found out about recently regarding Godot's uh, current audio solution. So, if you've been using Godot and haven't put any audio into the engine or any projects or anything so far, you definitely should, just to make sure that this isn't happening to you. Because if it is, then it's super important to look into ways of fixing it. Essentially, Godot4's audio solution right now can be very unreliable. Um, it's kind of hard to tell what exactly is causing the problem. There's a pretty huge GitHub thread right now that's been relatively active, and I'll have a link to it down in the description. But on that thread, people have been reporting different audio issues and different ways that they've been able to fix it. However, as far as I can tell, every single fix that I've seen has been pretty temporary. So, like, in my case, every single time that I fix it, after a PC reboot, the problem is back, and I have to mess around with settings again until it suddenly works. So it can be really unreliable and just unpredictable, which is not a good thing when, uh, you know, this is, for some people, potentially their livelihood, especially for indie studios that have moved from Unity to Godot recently. So right now, actually, the problem isn't happening. <laughs> like, it's so random, but I totally thought it was going to be happening, but... Uh, these audio files are playing perfectly fine. So I can't really demonstrate the problem right now, but what usually happens is there will be crackles in the audio or it'll cut in and out. And some people have reported that the sound will like slow down, almost like it's stretching out the audio file when it gets imported. And playing audio files both in the editor and in uh, during runtime can both cause these issues. Also, one thing that I would recommend if you uh, sort of want an easier way to tell if these problems are happening, first you can also just you can just load up an audio file and just play it over and over and over and over. But I would also recommend uh, setting up an audio bus with a, reber uh, a reverb effect and running that. And the heavy reverb can usually produce a lot of crackles and stuff if the audio issue is happening. Again, in my case, it's not happening right now, but... It has been happening every single other time that I've booted up the engine, so I'm not sure why it's working all of a sudden. I haven't updated or changed anything, but after I reboot my PC, it'll probably be right back. That seems to be the pattern that's been happening so far, at least. A quick note about that GitHub thread that I mentioned. There's also a fork that somebody made where they have allegedly fixed the problem. They've gone into the audio code and reworked things in a way that seems to be a lot more reliable. However, they also just randomly deleted the fork, and nobody really knows why. Like, they just deleted it and didn't say anything, and it's been quite a while now. It's been like two weeks, maybe three weeks since they deleted it, and no one really knows why they deleted it. There haven't really been any issues with their reworked code that have been reported, so as far as I can tell, it's totally salvageable. We could just, as far as I know, we, we should be able to just use their changes unless there's issues in there that they found and just didn't talk about. But I'll have a link to that in the description as well. I recommend looking into it. Um, if you know how to build the engine from the source code, I would highly recommend giving it a shot with that reworked audio code and see if it fixes the problem if you are experiencing it. So, okay, all of that aside, let's go ahead and go through just a couple things that, at least on my end, managed to fix the problem. Personally, I was getting audio crackles and the audio would sometimes cut in and out. The best thing that I found for testing this was using something that is sort of close to white noise. Uh, this, is, this is a platformer, and I have a wall slide sound. And this is kind of just white noise. Like, that is essentially white noise, right? And this was by far the most egregious audio file. This one had by far the most problems every single time I ran it. So that was a pretty good way of testing the problems going on with the audio engine. So if you do run into this problem, I really, really recommend putting in like a white noise file or something and using that as your main uh, thing for testing the problem. Anyway, so ways that you can potentially fix this, or at least what's worked for me, and there's a ton of solutions in that GitHub thread. I really recommend giving it a look if you're running into this problem. But if you go to Project and then Project Settings, and you'll want to check Advanced Settings for this, and you'll want to type uh, just Audio and go to general, sorry, it's in driver, actually. Uh, the mix rate 
you'll want to set this to the exact same as your current audio device's mix rate. And the way to find your audio device's mix rate is thankfully pretty simple. Uh, you just need to open up the control panel, go to hardware and sound, go to manage audio devices, and in here you will have the sound device manager. And you can find your current playback device here. For me, it's the speakers through my Sound Blaster sound card. And personally, I just use this sound card as an amplifier because my PC's onboard audio is just way too quiet. So that's what I use it for. And it does seem that any sort of extra, any sort of like even slightly abnormal audio setup seems to be sort of what can cause these issues. Though I'm not sure if it, if that really is the sole thing that can cause it, or if it if it is just like totally random. So we'll go ahead and open up uh, the properties, and you'll want to go to advanced. Now in here you can see that this is the format that my sound card is set to, or specifically this audio device, the mix rate, and you'll want to set your project's mix rate to that same thing, and then do a full restart of Godot after changing that mix rate. Now if this doesn't fix the problem, what you'll want to do is you'll want to come down to the exclusive mode settings. And personally, doing the mix rate didn't really fix it, but it does seem to be fixed if I have the mix rate set correctly and fiddle with these exclusive mode problems, so I assume that this is part of the solution, at least on my end. So, if you check this top one, or sorry, if you uncheck this top one, it'll also uncheck the bottom one. So I'd recommend first trying to uncheck the bottom one, see if anything changes, and if not, then try unchecking the top one as well and see if anything changes. In my case, it manages to... F it, the first time that this happened, it, I managed to fix it by just unchecking this bottom one. However, as you can see, they're both checked now, and I have no idea. Like, the, the pattern that I've faced is essentially the first time that this audio issue happened to me. I unchecked this bottom one, and the issue was fixed. Then I rebooted my PC, came back the next day, and the problem was back. So I also unchecked the top one, and that managed to fix it, thankfully. However, now this time it's working um, with both of them checked. So again, the problem is kind of random. It definitely seems to be affected by any sort of extra audio peripheral that you may have, or also Windows' whole exclusive mode system. Uh, what's strange is that this is the only application on my entire computer that this happens to. Like, I've never had any audio issues before. Uh, this is the first thing of its kind that I've run into. So it definitely seems pretty isolated to Godot specifically. But anyway, so as far as I can tell, that is the issue. Um, it seems pretty widespread, so I really wanted to bring more attention to it, hopefully get the official Godot team's eyes on it, see if they can get into working on any sort of solution. Though I do understand that generally, uh, generally Godot is community-driven and community-iterated and developed. So just anyone that has a knowledge in programming with audio, if, if you're able to take a look into it and find a solution, then that would be great, because it would help not just me, but tons of other developers. Uh, some people have reported that this problem persists even after an export, which is a really, really, really big issue, because that means that it's not just localized to the editor. It means that your players could also experience these problems and have to jump through these hoops of going into their you know, audio properties and the exclu exclusive mode stuff and all of that in order to find ways of fixing it. Uh, one game that I've found an example of this is the recent Halls of Torment. Um, that game, if you go to the Steam forums and type in audio, you will find a whole slew of problems that people have been having and all sorts of crazy solutions of ways of fixing it. So I would really recommend uh, looking into this, making sure that your version of Godot, or at least your current setup with Godot, isn't also giving you these audio problems, because if so, it can really be detrimental to your projects. So, just wanted to bring more awareness to it, and uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. See ya.